Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. Today we are comparing Scrintle and Heptabase for 2024. These apps develop quite fast, so I have to do a lot of these videos every single month or at least quarter. Anyways, let's look at the pricing first. So the pricing on this is it's 74.99 Norwegian kroners, which is around five to six dollars each month. Or it has a lifetime plan of 3599 which is a little over 300 US dollars. And we have Heptabase as well, which comes in at 11 99 for the monthly plan. They have one week free trial, then it's billed 11 99 and you have the 8 99 for the yearly plan. So this is a little bit cheaper. Um, however... It isn't always only about the price, so let's jump into the apps. The first one I'm going to take a look at is Scrintle. So Scrintle is a little bit younger or in an earlier stage in its development. And you can clearly see that when you look at the app. So it has a Readwise integration and it works with boards and boards within boards. So I could put another board into here. Or I could actually create myself a Kanban and they recently added this organize feature uh, which helps you organize all of your notes. But I want to organize them myself so uh, I'm not going to use that but you have boards within boards and you have note cards and that's basically how this app works but it has some cool features one of them is the sidebar here where you can see all of your uh, notes on this board you can search in here as well and you can uh, find the info about the board as well as do some actions share publish copy or unstar uh, so this is quite easy to use and learn it has backlinks and you can link two ways the first one is to use the plus symbol and just search for something um, or create a new card uh, but you could search for something i have this here so i could press this and get a backlink or i could just drag this here and What's fun about this is that even if you drag, the links will appear here. And here you can see where your cards appear. You can see the tag uh, and you can see everything within that tag. And you can also see what it is linked to. So you can see all of the different links here uh, as well. So if you backlink something, you will find it here. Uh, you have your tasks, which is basically just a place to have all of the different tasks across your different boards or cards. And you can go on and check them off and they will be removed. Uh, so the task feature uh, lacks some things, but there are ways to get around it. Uh, one of the ways is to actually create yourself a Kanban board so you can create columns. Let's say I created three columns and I could create myself a Kanban board here and I could drag my cards from one place to another. Uh, it is quite easy to use. They are developing it quite fast and the app is really, really fast as well, uh, which is a good thing for every note-taking app out there you want it to be uh, fast but there is no mobile app yet unfortunately but i am guessing that it will come out someday no note-taking app can live without um without a mobile app when i was using this i uh, used the web version on my iPad whenever I had to take notes on the iPad and I believe that apps like this uh, will be quite popular on iPads uh, because it is so easy to use on an iPad but let's jump into Heptabase and see how this works so quite similar we have boards with boards within boards uh, quite similar in 
that way, but Heptabase has some things that uh, Squintle does not have, or at least not yet. The first one is uh, actually the uh, daily page, and here you can write down your to-dos, and they will show up in your tasks, and they will be scheduled to the day you actually write them, which is a neat feature. You have a lot of things you could put inside of here. I haven't actually used all of these and I don't know if I ever will. Um, it is block based so you can drag things around and it has one more feature as well. If we jump into one of my cards, I actually wrote something in it yesterday for a video. You can see that it shows which whiteboards it is appearing on and it also shows the tags and I have quite a few tags here and tags work quite similarly to super tags in Tama so every tag can create a database so you can have databases and you can have uh, whiteboards in the same app so this is a database and you can add new uh, properties if you wanted to they have a bunch for you to pick from and you can even turn it into a kanban board if you would want to do that instead uh, another cool thing about this app is that you can actually uh, have um, organization in your tags so i can organize my tags like this if you wanted to do it in para you could do it like this for example and i should probably move the resources one up uh, and and it is a cool looking app with a lot of cool features it has a readwise integration as well and it feels really really intuitive uh, i honestly like this personally a lot better than uh, i like scrintle and it it is several reasons for that the first one is the daily page it works like an inbox so you could put everything into there it has a mobile app as well and it just in my personal opinion and this is highly personal it looks a lot better and having uh, an app that looks good is uh, important, at least for me. So that was a quick little um, comparison of two of the probably best whiteboard note-taking apps out there, at least two of my favorites. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.